Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI, and this is a 36-year-old female with complaints of chronic migraines. Recently, her migraine had changed in character, and she felt dizzy for almost a day. And you know, several days later, she decided to get to her neurologist and made an appointment, but the appointment was two or three weeks off. So she came in to get an MRI of the brain. So when she went to see the neurologist, she would have some imaging in hand to show them, and not have to delay things. So she has an MRI of the brain here. This is just a little distended, we call perivascular space of no clinical significance. Her ventricles, this is a right and left lateral ventricle, look normal. But if we come down lower, we see she has problem on the right side here. This is her right cerebellum. This is her left cerebellum. There's her eyes up front. And we see she has abnormal signal in her right cerebellum. So on this view, the you know, gray matter, which is on the outside here, is swollen and very bright. This is a, another view up high in the cerebrum. We're going to go down. You can see the gray matter around the rim, the white matter in the middle. They're very different contrasts here. And we're going to come down, 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 down until we get into the cerebellum. Here's the top of the cerebellum. As we go down the cerebellum, in the posterior inferior portion, we see this big foggy area. And this is what we believe to be a posterior inferior cerebellar artery stroke. So an acute or subacute stroke, which means that not enough blood supply got to this part. One of the blood vessels either had spasm or a clot went to it, and she has this foggy area where the brain is swollen because it did not get enough blood supply. This is a view. We're looking straight at the brain. We can see the top cerebrum, bottom cerebellum, and again we see this asymmetric area that's bright, that acute or subacute stroke in the brain. This is a side view where we can see the nose here. Here's the top. Here's the back. The cerebrum is here. We're looking at the cerebellum. So if we go left, looks good. We go to the right. We see the abnormality over here. Now there's one last sequence that's very sensitive. It's called a diffusion weighted sequence. And diffusion sequence, if there's an acute stroke or subacute stroke, it'll be bright. And we see over here, this is that area that's very patchy and bright. So it looks like an acute stroke. And we call it a pica, P-I-C-A, infarction, which means not enough blood supply. And the posterior inferior cerebellar artery is an artery that feeds the back bottom part of the brain here. And patients who have this um, often will feel very dizzy and vertigo, just like she had. And the few patients I've seen with these, they've, they've been younger rather than very old. So... She's headed to the ER to get some uh, clinical advice and just a nice case of uh, posterior inferior cerebellar artery, we call it pica infarction.